Hi everyone! Today's video is very exciting as I know a lot of you are a fan of Middle Eastern perfumes. So I have decided to gather my top 9 Middle Eastern perfumes perfect for summer. How many of you think that it's going to be heavy, beast mode, animalic and oody because it's Middle Eastern perfumes? It's not the case all the time. What I have here are actually nine perfumes that I think are perfect for summer. These are light, airy, and long-lasting enough to enjoy under the heat. I think these perfumes are perfect in a tropical and humid climate. And of course, it will be perfect for the upcoming summertime. So if you are looking for a Middle Eastern perfume, perfect for summer, then you're watching the right video. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new here, my name is Joanna and I do perfume reviews and recommendations in my channel. Welcome. Guys, before we start, I just want to make a point that these perfumes are not beast mode performers, all right? They are long, as I mentioned, they are long-lasting enough to enjoy under the heat. However, they are not your typical Middle Eastern perfumes that are in your face. So I just want to make that clear. These perfumes are very reasonably priced. You basically get what you paid for. The price ranges will be around $20 to $80 max. I'm so excited to share these perfumes with you guys because you know summer is coming and I think that you will love these perfumes. First perfume is Raindrops by Ajmal. Okay guys, I'm just gonna say it straight away, if you're a fan of Coco Mademoiselle, you will might as well like this one. This is not totally a dupe of Coco Mad as I find this very light and airy as well as it doesn't have that much warmth and depth like Coco Mad. Well, that's the reason. Uh, it's perfect for summer. It is that floral and aquatic fragrance. I'm not really getting patchouli here. It's mainly florals and musk. You will definitely be reminded of Coco Med when you smell this perfume, but this is like the light, airy, and aquatic version of Coco Med, okay? Um, I must say that this has a moderate longevity and projection. On skin, I get around four to six hours, but on clothes, this is eternal. It lasts for a very long time on clothes. So if you want something with that Chanel Coco Mad feeling and you don't want to spend a lot, um, I highly recommend you trying raindrops. And by the way, I think this is the cheapest in today's list. This is around $20. Um, yeah, raindrops by Ajmal. Next perfume is something that is so easy to wear every day and this is Shaghaf by Swiss Arabian. This fragrance has lime, lemon, apple, praline, peony, musk, and then cedar. However, the notes that I'm getting are citruses, a lot of peony, and musk. I forget the heaviest note is apple. So if you are into that refreshing apple, citrusy, and puny kind of vibe, you will definitely like Shakhaf by Swiss Arabian. To me, this is a damn rich perfume. Um, it's very linear, nothing complex. This has 
quite a moderate longevity and projection so you know just like what i said in the beginning of this video um these perfumes are not beast mode performers so i get around four to six hours longevity with moderate projection i must say that this is something i like to respray throughout the day as it gives me that refreshing feeling um, I remember I used this quite a lot last year's summer and I love it. Um, just something easy, you know, not complicated and very airy. Yeah, that is Shaghaf by Swiss Raven. Next perfume is Just Bergamot by Paris Corner Emir Factory Edition Series look at the bottle and for sure you are reminded of Le Labo. yes it is <laughs> because this is a dupe of Le Labo's bergamot and i must say that they did an amazing job on this one because this is spot on so having said that this is heavy in bergamot vetiver grapefruit musk cedar and vanilla um this is straight up unisex a fresh citrusy and musky scent there's something refreshing and comforting about it i love wearing this in the summertime and as the name suggests this is heavy in bergamot so if you're looking for something citrusy to use in the summertime and you love the note of bergamot you can never go wrong with this perfume and also the price is so good this is around 30 to 40 dollars i must say and this will definitely last you for a while as this is like 100 ml you definitely get a bang for your buck with this perfume um yeah just bergamot by emir factory for those of you looking for a unisex citrusy perfume next perfume is vibrant orange and neroli by emir once again and this has mandarin orange lemon neroli jasmine sambac cotton candy and white musk this is a dupe of byredo's sundays and they have the same exact notes and having said that they smell the same guys okay and to be honest i am not really into dupes but the only time that i prefer a dupe is when it lasts longer than the original one and since byredo perfumes are kind of missing in that longevity and projection department that's when i turn to this kind of fragrances because i know that i can overspray them without guilt and also this one lasts longer this perfume is very heavy in orange and neroli and sweetened up by that cotton candy and musk i love this perfume so perfect for summer extremely unisex um highly recommend if you can find this in your country online or in a shop get it um yeah once again um orange and neroli by emir factory Next perfume is Vetiver Delight from Emir as well. Guys, this perfume is a dupe of Byredo's Bal de Freak. And this is also spot on. I have the Byredo Bal de Freak as well and I tested them side by side. They are the same let's just say that the vibrato is slightly well blended however 
the performance of this one is better. This lasts around six to eight hours. What I'm getting from this perfume is that fresh feels from the vetiver grounded with sweet amber and musk. And this one smells velvety as well, exactly like Paul the Freak. I love this one. I must say that this is my most favorite in today's video. Um, so if you love Bayredo Bal the Freak and if you want uh, something that is more affordable, highly recommend you Vetiver Delight by Amir. Next perfume is Musk 07 by Swiss Arabian. Mm, guys, this is so nice. I highly recommend you trying this out if you are into musk. This is such a beautiful and uplifting scent, perfect for everyday use. Um, this is something, I must say, that is very office appropriate as well. This has a very uplifting opening because of the pomegranate and black currant, and it has that airy rose as well with just perfect amount of musk and patchouli in the background to give that comforting vibe. It has a very good longevity, let's say around six to eight hours with moderate projection. And also it's unisex. However, in my opinion, it's leaning more feminine. Um, yeah, I highly recommend you Musk 07 by Swiss Arabian. So the next two perfumes are for fruity fragrance lovers. And the first one that I'm going to talk about is Blueberry Musk by Arabiat. If you love blueberries, you definitely have to check this one out. This has blueberries, citruses, magnolia, rose, orchid, vanilla, um, musk, of course, and orange blossom. I'll be honest with you, I bought this perfume in Dubai because I read somewhere that it is a dupe of Fenty, okay? And I love Fenty perfume. And I must say that, yes, they are very identical. However, this is the light and airy version of Fenty. If you find Fenty a little too dark and deep for you, or if it's too much, because, you know, Fenty is a very heavy perfume, um, I highly recommend you trying Blueberry Musk from Arabiat. I don't have any blueberry dominant perfume in my collection, so I am really happy about this one. Um, the difference, as I mentioned, of this from Fenty is that this is lighter. It is missing that heavy patchouli that Fenty has. So. I highly recommend you trying out this one because this will just be perfect for summertime or, you know, somewhere humid. I tried using this when I was in Dubai and it lasted me for quite a long time. Let's say around four to six hours with moderate projection. I don't find this a unisex fragrance definitely a perfume for women. So highly recommend Blueberry Musk by Arabiat. Next perfume is Al Haramain L'Adventure Femme. And you might be familiar with this already. This is a dupe of Aventus Creed for her. So if you are into citruses, pineapple, and woody fragrance, you will definitely love this one. So I must say that this is pretty much the same as Aventus Creed for her because um, this one is very long lasting as well. But then of course Aventus for her is just slightly more well blended than this one. But come on, with the price, I think this is around 40 to $50 like and 
Aventus kit for her is like what you know this is extremely unisex and slightly leaning more masculine so if you are into wearing something uh more unisex and fruity i think you'll definitely love this one i think that this will be very good to wear in the summertime um yeah so highly recommend um it has an amazing longevity and projection i must say eight plus hours it lasts on skin and on clothes um yeah this is love venture fan by al harmony last but not the least this is orientica arte bellissimo romantic and this one i'm gonna save for special occasions this summertime so if you're looking for a middle eastern perfume to wear in a special location in the upcoming summer highly recommend you trying this one out especially if you love roses and if you love delina yes this is a dupe of delina however i mentioned this before in my previous videos i prefer this more because it is missing the tartness coming from the rhubarb and lychee this instead has nutmeg bergamot grapefruit peach rose peony and violet it is very floral and it just have that perfect amount of powderiness to me this is very smooth and well blended and very very close to delina or I must say actually they're the same this one though has an amazing longevity and projection i must say eight plus hours and big projection um in today's list this is the most expensive one let's say i paid around 80 dollars for a 75 ml i've tried several perfumes from orientica and i must say that their perfumes are of high quality and very smooth and well blended um yeah highly recommend you this one out if you're looking for a middle eastern fragrance to use in a special occasion this summertime Gantica arte bellissimo romantic so that is the video for today guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed please write me down in the comments down below if you've tried any of this and how you feel about them don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already and see you on my next one bye